Okay. Uh, all right. So next up, Dominic, uh, how about let's, let's talk a little bit about John Moxley and that promo and then the subsequent, uh, contract signing situation. Yes. Uh, dude, Moxley is at the top of the baby face game right now. Like old school baby face, dusty roads, again, reach to the screen kind of promo where he, and you know what? off the beaten path type of thing too. Like, you know, so much you're used to seeing with these uh, promos uh, from a baby face perspective is like, you know, I've worked so hard to get to this point or like, this is, this is my ultimate dream is to do all this stuff. Like same shit all the fucking time. This is totally, he talks a story about his dad picking him up from a police station and telling him he's a good guy or we're, we're the good guys. And then, um, you know, he weaves that into revealing that uh, Renee is pregnant, too, <laughs> like all in one whole thing. Uh, but it's also like such a unique way to take it. Um, and him kind of like, all right, you know, I'm going to be the good guy in this situation. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to shake Kenny's hand. I'm going to tell him he's the best there is. And then we're going to sign that contract. And then we're going to have the match. Like, it's just a really, really well done thing. He's consistently on fire each week in and week out and each promo is unique and stands out on its own that's what you want from a top star and moxley is delivering that on all types of levels yeah he he kind of outthinks everybody when it comes to promos where you're right it's we've gotten used to the same sound the same look the same everything when it comes to promos and moxley has figured out something pretty incredibly that we haven't gotten to see maybe ever in wrestling as far or as like in a really really long time that we haven't seen from modern day wrestling right the the delivery and you know i think we can nip the whole like stone cold john moxley thing in the bud uh yeah, that's no, that stupid narrative so dumb this is not, could you ever see stone cold cutting a promo like that absolutely no, not absolutely so not. so john is he's he's a very original character um a very viable character and i'm with you man uh i think you know him being ranked number one on pwi well justified uh he's good enough in the ring very very good on the mic uh just a very entertaining guy uh i did feel like though the uh contract signing had uh some missed opportunities how did you feel about that so um i was okay with it now like a kind of predictable uh, and uh in the respect that, okay, uh, somebody's laid out backstage and there's an issue going on. What's happened? Why is that? You and I are opposite. We're opposite on this, but go ahead. Um, but I liked, I kind of liked Kenny's reaction to the whole thing. Like We are 100% opposite really? on that. Yes. Wow. Really? I liked yes. Kenny's reaction on the whole thing. I thought, like, again, in a unique kind of way, like – you're used to, you know, okay, a conflict at the contract signing, things like that. And Kenny's just like, what the hell? Like, okay, okay, got a tech. What do you want me to do about it? I, you know, but John, you better show up here. That's it. But okay, the thing's over. I'll sign it. And then that's it. I kind of liked it. I liked it. And I thought uh, Kenny, the way he dressed, um, the entrance, the ridiculous over-the-top entrance where they mentioned that he's already a Wrestling Observer Hall of Famer, uh, just great stuff uh, in regards to that. So, yeah, no, give me your thoughts then. It is crazy. So, yeah, well, so it, it's funny that we're completely opposite on things. Where we're really I, opposite this week. It's, uh, to me, the uh, the whole him being laid out backstage, I've, I've gotten so used to the whole, you know, both guys come to the ring, there's some tension, and then like the table is like Chekhov's gun, where they're like, okay, so the table's there, so somebody's going through the table. Yeah. That's been like the staple in these contract signings. So that's what I was expecting. And then so like, you know, John Moxley's music kicks on. You're like, okay, here comes Moxley. And they're like looking around the arena. And then they show him laid out backstage. It was like, okay, this is like a little bit different. Uh, you know, obviously people being laid out backstage is a staple in pro wrestling. But during a contract signing, I don't know that I have personally ever seen it. Um, so I was like, okay, that's that's cool. It's like a little different flavor. And then so I thought that that Omega had a good angle at the beginning where he was just like, well, you know, it was like his arm first and now he's got a nosebleed. I'm just going to sign the contract. And to me, I was like, no dude, like that's that there's a missed opportunity. Like where if he's going to be healed, just be all the way healed. Just be like, look at this coward. Like, look at this guy. He gets punched in the face and he wants to stay backstage. I'm here. You know, I came all the way out. I hurt my elbow, you know, drinking my coffee this morning, but I still made it. 
Uh, you know, like he should have just been way over the top, ridiculous, calling him a coward, like just going full blown heel about it. So to me, that was a missed opportunity. Okay. So now in this regard, I think they're slow burning though. Like, I don't think it's going, they kind of don't want you to feel that they're showing signs of major arrogance from Kenny. And obviously, you know, with the entrance and, you know, how he's handling himself, but they're not going all in, uh, but not intended for it. So, I mean, you, I think we're going to ultimately get that come winners coming on December 2nd. Like we'll, we'll get more full blown heel Kenny as time wears on, but heck, you know, with uh, what we just talked about, the baby face heel gray dynamic, maybe not, but hopefully we will. You know, I'm when it comes to pro wrestling and storylines and heel baby face, I personally prefer very broad brush strokes. I don't I don't care about the fine details and the whole like subtle, subtly turning heel. I like big, broad, blatant, black and white brush strokes. And uh, I, for me personally, in my taste, uh, we're not getting enough. So from point A to point B, uh, one end of the spectrum to the other in the storytelling aspect, I'm 100 percent with you. But if you're having somebody turn, uh, I'm all for that kind of build of that that gradual turn, as long as they ultimately turn. Well, I don't want time, time. Time will tell. But Kenny's been turning for weeks. To, oh well, longer than that. But so uh, yeah. But I think how they kind of uh, kind of hit the reset button at full gear with him, where he's like, okay, he is kind of a baby face now. Uh, now he's turning heel. Uh, I think they're on the right track just as long as they reach the destination and it's a defined, definitive definition, destination. Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm hoping so. I think that the conclusion is foregone that uh, Kenny is going to be the champ. Thing is, if Kenny is uh, going to go on to be the champ, uh, he's barely being featured on TV. They're not really showing his stuff all that much. And again, his, his personality is very, very understated. And it's like, okay, like this guy's about to be the flag bearer for your company and I'm not getting much out of him. Uh, so like, let's, let's, I start agree. To show, let's start to show a little more personality if this guy's going to be carrying your strap. I'm sure we're going to get that next week uh, to the build, you know, cause they only have one week to do it. So I gonna... hope so. Uh, but don't get me wrong. I, by and large, I'm, I'm good with where things are going. Uh, this, uh, the contract signing just to me, eh, could have been, it was good. Could have been way better. Okay, I was I was fine with it. I mean, I it, I'm with you that it could have been better, but for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird that we're we're not on the same page on that. But uh, hey, next also, match, Dom. Before we carry on, I need to make note of our bet that we made months ago. Oh, uh, you know, I've I've been hoping that you had forgotten about. I have that. not forgotten, Marcus. Uh, I've rolled it all into your Christmas gift. No, you can't. I'm sorry. You can't do that. This is a, let's, let's discuss this after the podcast. No, Hey, this uh, is worthy. This was a bet you made <laughs> on the podcast. You are not skirting this issue here. All right. All right. What, what $10 or something do you want? We, we have, now granted Marcus, we're not quite there yet because Adam page has not defined himself fully as a baby face and Kenny has not fully defined himself as a heel. So we'll wait it out. Okay. I'm fine. Well, with I, I will say, I will say Dominic, uh, you know, I, I pretty much hate Adam page right now. He's hard to watch on the program. Uh, it doesn't necessarily that makes... mean one or the other there, Marcus. So uh, he's, he's a heel in my book. We in your book, but that's not everybody's book. 